Tonight, a Byron pastor asking for prayers after two fires broke out in his church overnight. Authorities are calling it arson. Police Chief Wesley Cannon says around midnight, one of his officers discovered the fire and crews put it out. But the church office building was destroyed. Carmen Brown spoke to Byron United Methodist pastor who says their community is stronger than this crime. As you can see, the entire property is taped off and authorities are still here assessing the damage. I spoke to church pastor Josh Bazell, who says though the office building is destroyed, their community is not. Just hugging each other and encouraging each other. And uh, this is a very encouraging church and a very loving congregation. And so uh, we are uh, we've already seen in the last 12 hours just the church coming together. Bizell says after he and his wife found out around one Wednesday morning, they quickly headed to their church and caught their office in flames. Just shock at first. Uh. And this isn't the first time the congregation's faith has been tested by fire. Bizell says the church burned down in the 60s. They rebuilt and kept going and we're going to rebuild and keep going and uh, we feel like we've got a community behind us to, to help us do that. Hundreds of people have taken to social media to share their support for Byron UMC churchgoers. One firefighter shared while clearing the scene, he found a family style Bible enclosed in a curio cabinet. Uh, it was untouched by the fire. And so it's just neat to see a reminder that the things that we've built ourselves on as a church can't be destroyed by a fire. Bazell says at the end of the day, Community wins. We don't know exactly where we're going to worship yet, but uh, either in the fellowship hall or uh, find somewhere else. And uh, that's that's the cornerstone of who we are as a community, as a worshiping community. Bizell says they were hoping to kick off fall Bible classes Wednesday, but they will congregate for service Sunday morning. In Byron, Carmen Brown, 13 WMAZ News. Yeah, Pastor Cannon says the fires are still under investigation. Anybody with information can call Macon Regional Crime Stoppers at one 877 Six eight crime.